What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. You probably already know what it is here, but if you're new, if you don't, that's what's up. I would love for you to subscribe by hitting the red button down below so you don't miss one of my videos. Today, I'm going to talk to y'all about um, intuitive eating because I still to this day get a lot of questions like, how do I know I'm intuitive eating? What does it mean to intuitively eat? What does that look like in life and in the eating disorder recovery process? Or if you just come from a background of dieting, restricting, binging, that kind of stuff. What is intuitive eating? And I think the very first thing that's really important to tell you guys is that so many of you overcomplicate it. Like it's not that deep. Like it's literally just listening to your body. It's eating what you want, when you want, however much you want. It's honoring your body's hunger cues. It's basically eating like a kid. And intuitive eating looks different at different times of your life, um, especially in the eating disorder recovery process. Um, my intuitive eating now looks very different than my intuitive eating in my eating disorder recovery process. And that's because my body needed different things. So when I was recovering, I needed a lot of calories. I needed certain food groups. I just needed food. And I ate so much. I ate so many weird random things and I just listened to my body. And so that's what intuitive eating looked like then. Now, intuitive eating is a lot different. However, it's still the same concept. It's still listening to your body. It's still eating what you want, when you want, however much you want. It's still eating what is going to make you feel good and going to make you feel your best when you need it. It's really that simple. So something that I think is important too to mention is it's not only physical cues. Um, it's also mental cues. I think the mental part of intuitive eating is huge. Um, so many people wait until their stomach is growling, thinking like, okay, I'm hungry now because my stomach is growling. Or, okay, I'm hungry now because I'm getting irritable. Or, okay, I'm hungry now because I don't have a lot of energy. And if I wait until I'm hangry, then I'm going to be a hot mess. Like, I'm not going to wait until I start to feel the physical symptoms of being hungry because that's when it's gone too far. And of course it's taken me practice to be able to like get this, but it's something that you're like, you have been born with is just the ability to know what your body needs when you need it. And that is our mind. Our mind tells us what we need and our bodies, like I say in so many of my videos is that we're so fearfully and wonderfully made. Like our bodies are smart. So when our brain is telling us that, you know what, we need to probably eat soon or hmm, it puts in your head, like I I'm craving a little bit of, um, so, like I know for me, I'm like, if I'm sitting there working and all of a sudden I just start thinking about Qdoba and I start thinking about muffins and I'm just like, hmm, something sounds good right now. That's probably because I need to go eat. That's my mind telling me like, hey, you're starting to get hungry because I don't emotionally eat. I don't eat because I'm bored. Um, I have very healthy um, hunger and fullness cues. And I thank God for that because I had to learn that through my eating disorder and my eating disorder recovery process. There's a lot I learned through that. And so, but now like I'm, I know what my body needs and it's based on practice, but also just like trusting and honoring it. And just knowing like when you're intuitive eating, it's not only physical, like just don't wait for the physiological effects because you're going to end up hangry. Like if you're starting to like desire food, it's probably a good idea that you need it because your mind is not going to tell you that you want a bunch of pizza when you don't want it or you don't need it. Like right now, I just had lunch, so I'm not thinking about food at all. Um, usually if I want something, I eat it. That's how I've been in my whole recovery process. That's how I am now. And just with that freedom, I don't want food that much. And it's so weird that I'm sitting here telling you this because I would have never thought to this day that that's how I would be, but it's true. And I think now if I want something, if I'm starting to desire it, it's because I'm hungry. And so I know that was a whole lot, that was a mouthful, but basically that is the concept of intuitive eating. Don't just go off your physical, also go off of your mental. And so also in this video, I wanted to show you guys what I ate yesterday. I don't have the pictures of like my plates, but I have like, I really just went on Google images and I, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I ate. So for breakfast, I had two of these muffins. I love muffins if you 
can't tell. So I ate two of these muffins for breakfast later for my second meal. I had this, I basically combined everything. I'm at home, not a lot of options right now. So I made some rice in the microwave. I had two eggs and half a bag of this, these Brussels sprouts. Later on, I was feeling something a little light, you know, sugary, whatever. So <laughs> this is gonna look like such a weird combination, but this is what I had. I had a bowl and I put bananas, grapes, a Lara bar, um, I broke up the rice cake, put it in there with some almond milk, and that was kind of like a snack type thing. Usually, I, if I have like chocolate chips, I'll put them in there, maybe some granola and have that. So, it was just a weird like makeshift like meal snack thing. Later, I had another bag of rice. It was a little different this time. I had the other half a bag of Brussels sprouts, and I had some salmon. Then night came, and... I had another sweet tooth, so I ate the other two muffins in the container. So that is what my day looked like yesterday. And actually, that was like a very good day for me because something like something I've been trying to make an effort to do is just to eat more regularly because um, ever since I've just been eating what I want, when I want, however much I want, I realize like I'll wake up, I'll have coffee, I'll go throughout my day. And I really won't eat that much because, not because I'm not hungry, but because I'm like, I'm busy. Um, like there's just a ton of stuff to do. And maybe I don't like, when I'm at school, I don't wanna go get food. So I just like get a snack or, you know, that kind of stuff. So, and then when the end of the day comes, night comes, I am like so starving. And a lot of times like there's not really anything open. And again, I'm stuck with snacks in my room. And so, and I just like, I'm like, blah, I don't want to eat a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos at night anymore. Like, I want to eat regular meals so I can feel better. I can feel more energized throughout the day. Um, so that's kind of what I've been trying to do. So I, I'm not in like a bad situation where I'm just like, you know, I really want like something else, but I'm stuck with Lenny and Larry cookies and flaming Hot Cheetos. So yesterday was good for that reason because, um, I eat or I ate regularly um you know there's nutrition in it and I felt good all day and I slept good so that is ex that is I cannot talk today that is an example of what I ate yesterday and that's kind of what I'm trying to do more of is just eat more regular meals so I can make better choices and you know so I can feel better and that kind of stuff um but either way that is kind of what I ate yesterday the first half of my video today, I talked a little about intuitive eating. So I hope that answers some of y'all's questions. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions about intuitive eating. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful in some way. If it was, then give me a thumbs up. I would love that. Also drop a comment down below. If this is something that you have struggled with, let us know. If you're going through an eating disorder recovery journey, let us know. With all that being said, again, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.